In a previous video, I made this solar filter for photographing the sun. What I found was a very small amount of this filter was actually needed. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try again, but uh, cutting a small hole in the can and using less uh, solar filter. I'm going to try that with the actual solar filter material that we know works. And I'm also going to try it um, with some other common mylars you might find like at the grocery store. This is a uh, where there's original wrapper, pop tarts, uh, peppermint patty, um, the bag of the York, uh, or excuse me, the Werther original bag, um, a Lipton tea bag, and a musketeer bar. And they don't have a lot of, you know, open area. So just, just a few little, little spaces, some better than others. But I don't think we're going to need very much material. So it'll just be a measure of how good they are optically. Um, just to give you guys some resources to try if you don't have uh, that solar material. So I got the green beans can cut out and cleaned out, cleaned the outside with mineral spirits. And then I've taken a pencil and uh, I've just kind of marked the center on there. It's a little easier um, to drill when you hash it out like that. You don't have to do any measuring or anything, but it, it lets you get a little closer. Um, so first I'm going to uh, drill it with a quarter inch pilot and then I'm going to drill a half inch. We'll see how well that works. Um, also, don't forget your safety glasses. So now I'm going to go through the different materials um, one by one and we'll see how they do uh, with a single layer or double layer or triple layer. Um, some of these um, aren't quite as strong as, uh, as the solar film. So I'm going to pick a, a section that doesn't have any words in it um, to increase our chances of getting a sharper image. And I'll put the shiniest side out. That will help uh, reflect some sun. And then I'm just going to take just take some masking tape and try not to stick it over the hole if I can help it, which will, might take a little effort. Let's let this type of dip. Get as close as I can to the edge. So I'm basically going to repeat the same thing for all the next ones and I'll just cycle through the images and we'll see how it turns out. So here is the result of the Werther's original wrapper. If you look closely you can see some sunspots. A little bit of a halo but uh, definitely one of the better uh, mylars. Out of curiosity, I tried two of these wrappers, but the image was certainly less distinct. I didn't attempt any more double layers on any of the other films. The sun was still visible with the Lipton T wrapper, but wasn't nearly as distinct as with other mylars. The musketeer wrapper was so bad that I wasn't even able to get the camera to focus. The York Peppermint Patty wrapper had a decent image but produced significant diffraction. You can see in this image my neighbor's tree as it was getting late in the day. The Pop-Tart wrapper had the best results of the mylars I tried. You can see in the upper left that the sunspots are quite distinct. It still has some diffraction, however. The commercial solar filter material certainly produced the clearest image. 
However, the sunspots weren't as visible because the amount of light passing through this filter was at the very bottom range of the camera's light gathering ability. I hope this video was helpful. If you get one of these materials to work, please share your experience in the comments.